Today we're at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton. My name's Martin Tyler, Alan Smith as usual is alongside me to bring his own brand of expertise. Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Southampton against Manchester United. Should be a good one. A lot of talk about the tactics the two managers are likely to employ beforehand. We'll soon find out. Here's the Southampton team for you. Ryan Bertrand starts alongside Kyle Walker-Peters at the back. Pierre-Emile Hoiberg starts with James Ward-Prowse in the middle. In attack, Shane Long partners up with Danny Ings. Not one from the textbook, that one, the booking, I think. Well, the player's not happy about the yellow card. It's a burden for him, of course, for the rest of the game now. And uh, he's booked early on. Yeah, he's saying, well, it's my first challenge, my first tackle, but the ref's not having any of it. Fred. Pogba. Shaw. Fernandez. Attack building for Manchester United. Let's take the lead here. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation. How are they going to cope today? How are they going to sort out this dreadful home record, the hosts? Yeah, just four wins in 15 games. They've got the ball back by that interception. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. And they've cut it out. Now Marcus Rashford. Here's Shaw. Pogba. Nothing wrong with the industry of the team. That little bit of inspiration lacking, but they need to get their noses in front. Well, we might get an update on that injury now from our man. Really in the clear now. Good interception. Here's Martial. Rashford. Togba. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Space to cross the ball now. What a chance to take the lead. Now that's a great block. Real chance now. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. Corner played into the middle. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but off target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. Saw that coming and intercepted. Now Marcus Rashford. We could all see it. United dominating possession, last 15. Now they're looking good with the football that they're playing as well. This is excellent stuff. And if they can't get a goal soon to get themselves ahead, they'll be kicking themselves. Now he wants to take them on. Fabian. Fabian! And they've scored! And the first goal will be such a boost to them. Well, this is what you call leading from the front. A strike from the skipper. Yeah, he's popped up at a very good moment there. Another angle on it here. Southampton in front. Goal for Southampton. Number 23, Pierre Emil Heidberg. Greenwood. Maguire. Bruno Fernandes. Here's Martial. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. 
cleared the ball. Not good for Manchester United to this point. The manager is letting the players know he's not happy, and I'm sure that will provoke a response. Martial! Super goalkeeping. Put the corner in the middle. He scored from the spot. And that has got the goal from the penalty spot. Well taken. Yeah, the way he walked up to it, you could just see he was going to score. So confident. It is uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Armstrong. Striding forward, purposefully. It's not really a way, poor clearance. The fourth official now Anthony Martial. There will be a minimum of three minutes Pogba. of added time. Fernandez. Martial. No time for an extra touch after the tackle. It's out of harm's way. All the fans are thinking about as the half-time whistle goes is that incident earlier when the penalty was. Manchester United get the second half underway. Here's Shaw. Now Marcus Rashford. Fernandez. Here's Martial. Papa! It comes out off the goalkeeper. Neatly intercepted. Well, you do worry when your team's not creating chances, but as you can see, they certainly have done today. For the manager, he'll just be concerned that they're not finding the back of the net with these opportunities. Here's Martial. He's made the interception. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Game still level, but the pressure might be counting. And the referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Maguire, Fred, Redmond, Chainlock, Nathan Redmond, threads it through, and he scored! <laughs> well, any manager would enjoy seeing that, the resilience, the determination to protect their goal and then to spring forward and hurt the opposition. Manchester United have to try no, to come from behind. Number nine, Danny Ings. 
Now Anthony Martial. Southampton ready to make an alteration here. James Ward-Prowse gives it away. to see a team playing the ball forward to open up the opposition but the defending was good there by the opponent very good work by the goalkeeper free kick for Manchester United substitution coming up as they look to make sure they hold their lead till the final whistle still 20 minutes to go quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there Fred Adams really in the clear now he's got support in the centre that is a terrific header unlucky it's just off target they generated some power on it and the keeper wasn't getting there to be replaced by number 19 Buffon. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Lindelof. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. James Ward-Prowse trying to steer it through. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. He can frustrate watchers, Anthony Marcio. You know what he's got in his locker, but he's rather just letting the game pass him by at the moment. Well, you know what they say. If you don't buy a ticket, you won't win the raffle. And we can see from that graphic that uh, he's just not testing the keeper enough to have any success, and his team are losing too. Now yeah, the hosts with less possession, that's interesting. He's doing a great job here. It's been a classic counter-attacking performance. You don't always need to be dominating possession to get yourselves ahead. Delivered into the box. It's all good for the goalkeeper. And he plays safe, tipping it over. Just the one goal in it. But they've got a corner and a chance to add to that one goal advantage. Very late in this match. He's seen the shot. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Number 17, Fred, coming onto the pitch. James Ward-Prowse with the corner. All Peters out, rather, for them. It was an open goal. Goalkeeper nowhere. Oh, my word, one for the bloopers there. That's a, a shocker of a miss. and in this incident yeah not far off I think that would have made a difference to the outcome if it had gone in there is still time here for Manchester United and they are the masters of the late goals of course they need late goals now I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it is this game set and match save back into play off the post must be a goal well the reward is a goal for winning the ball high up the pitch well we could see it coming I think I think even the team that's just conceding could see it coming because they kept on losing the ball in dangerous areas there well he's not going to miss from there he was concentrated had his head down good connection Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scoreline. Now Lingard. And there is the final whistle. 
This is a team that sets out to win every game, and I suppose every now and then something like this is going to come along. You underachieve, you underperform. Well, that's right. If you're not properly at it, if it's not 100% performance, you, you will be made to pay quite often, and that was the case here.